Good evening, we're back with EU4, and this is our latest, potentially greatest EU4 campaign. It's Big Blue Block. We're playing as Montenegro here on very hard mode, with the goal to recreate the Soviet bloc, the entirety of it at its territorial height. I don't know exactly what that's going to be. I mean, I got maps. Better believe I've got maps, but I'm um, not quite settled on the kind of territorial borders we're going to be going for just yet. I'm sure there'll be people with... Uh, Plenty of actually remarks about things that were either under control of the Soviets or part of their satellite states. Now, as ever, I put this up to a battle between three different campaigns. Montenegro won out, but let's spare a thought for the U campaign that we could have had, where we would have united Tibet and raised both China and India, and the other campaign that didn't win that was, trying to remember, ah yes, Belgians getting their hands chopped off, by Imarina over in Madagascar. We're going to corner the slave market and enslave the Belgians. Whatever enslave meant, probably killing them all. <laughs> Shinaway is setting them free. But no, those didn't win. It's Montenegro. So, ah, let's just jump into it, why don't we? You might be wondering why is Montenegro on the map and why is Montenegro independent? To make this, I started as Serbia and I released Montenegro with Zeta, not as a subject, but by using the Return Province button, and that made Montenegro independent. I could have released and played them as a vassal. I didn't want to do that, because as a vassal, you're able to get support for independence, which makes it quite a bit easier, I would say, in almost any situation. Take Naxus. If we had uh, just been independent as Naxus, we would have just gotten auto-nommed but we were able to get support against Venice, and if I recall well, steal Venice's Venice from them, so there's going to be none of that carry-on. There's some downsides, of course, we spawn with absolute zero in all monarch power, only a thousand manpower, god knows why, but we get a staggering 50 ducats and an army of our own. Uh, I don't know why I have 20 legitimacy, is that by chance or not? I do not know. Uh, as ever, we'll do a quick run-through of what we do have as Montenegro. Uh, we spawned with a random ruler, and we got 446, which is just as well, because we're going to need that to make up for the lack of uh, all monarch powers. Normally, at the start of the game, a nation starts with monarch power uh, relating to how strong a ruler they have, but uh, not us. Uh, what are we? We're just a princedom right now. We can take, for some reason, two reforms. I don't know why, but releasing somebody this way gives you enough to pass too, so we're going to do exactly that. I think we're going to go for uh, autocracy, and I don't think we're going to have a lot of... Um, no, that was the income from vassal stuff. Manpower and tax. Tax is good, but I'm going to need manpower. So lucky us, that was one lucky break that we do get. Uh, monetarily, we start out in a deficit, even though our only expense are these 6,000 men, it's still more than we can really afford. Now remember, this is on very hard mode, meaning that AIs are incredibly strong. Ragusa here is fielding 8,000. You might go, oh, it makes sense. Ragusa's got that rich province and trade node. Well, Albania's over here with 6,000 of their own, and I assure you they're going to staff up that and put Skandenberg in charge. It's not going to be very good for us. Uh, trade. Actually, we make absolutely nothing in trade, so it would be prudent to send this guy out before I even forget about it. So please collect from trade, and let's s grab some of that stuff from Constantinople. So hopefully that'll help the Dosh situation down the line. We don't have any states. Zeta isn't actually a state. I may have to change that later on, especially if I want to have any um, state edicts going on here, and I almost certainly do. Right, lots of people wonder about the ideas. Montenegro is not a nation that you see on the map very often at all. Enemies get extra attrition. That's not really any use in very hard mode. We have extra fort defense. Coupling that with the fact that we're in the mountains could mean that our best defense is defense. Legitimacy, we'll need that soon enough, uh, but it doesn't become something else if you, say, become a public. Not that I plan to do that. Tolerance of true faith, plus one, which is good. Especially for an orthodox nation, we shouldn't have revolt risk in any orthodox provinces after a while. Infantry uh, gets cheaper, huzzah, but not by a lot. Embargoing and privateering are both uh, more effective, but I don't think we would do much of either. Navy tradition, it's not going to be a navy strong game, that's for sure. 
tax, uh, manpower, and we finish off with infantry combat ability. So I'd say infantry combat ability and infantry cost are about the only good things we have going for us. Otherwise, these are some severely weak ideas, and I have no intention to, of uh, changing these ideas throughout the run. Not becoming a peasant republic, says Dennis Wolf. I don't even know if that can be done. Uh, we have generic missions. Huzzah to us, we managed to build the force limit. Uh, I think I'll sit on that for a little bit. Mm, Libyan veto, uniformity, nothing here that really jumps out at me. Mm, I don't think any of this stuff is really going to jump out at me. Okay, what's the situation? The situation is extremely dangerous for Montenegro here. Uh, that's because although we have our own land here, Venice have a core on it. Serbia lost their core for giving it up. But Venice want it, and not only that, Venice is around here. They have the navy, and they certainly have the strength to come in and take it from us. So that is a huge threat. We have Ragusa and Albania breathing down our necks. Serbia has a truce with us, but only for five years. He squints, he goes, five? Yeah, okay. Uh, and Bosnia probably aren't going to like us that much. So we're going to have to use a number of things to our advantage here. Uh, one, we have this pretty great uh, king here. If we end up in battle, I'm going to hope that that six uh, turns us into having an amazing leader. I think I'm actually going to focus on military, just in case I have to fight incredibly in uh, unfavorable battles. We lack a lot of military power or military points that others would have, but too bad. No estates. I don't think those get assigned until the first month. But here's the biggest thing we have going for us. On very hard mode... All nations have a minus 20 debuff to wanting to be friends with you, which blows big time, very much blows. Uh, that does not apply to nations that border you, however, but then those that border you tend to want you dead. So Ragusa is actually pretty close to wanting to be our friend. That could be very good. We should probably strongly consider becoming their friend. As I mentioned before, these small nations really punch above their weight on very hard mode. Um, but I need something that I can action on right about now. That's where I look at Bosnia. Bosnia are very close to being my friend, and when this happens, normally you go straight to your advisor and you hire somebody for plus one Diplo rep. Well, we can't have that because we don't get our advisors until the turn of the month, and at the end of every month, unless a nation has another reason to do so, they assess their attitude towards you. Right now, I am unknown to most of the world. Actually, to all of the world, not even Serbia know what I am. Uh, but they know that they hate me because of Havakor. Well, you got rid of that. Basically, the fact that I've spawned like this, but a month hasn't passed, makes things go a bit weird. I need to put that to my advantage, because if we look at everybody that would be our friend, it's a long list of absolutely nobody. Albania would consider it, but I'm quite certain that they will go hostile to me, because why wouldn't they? They're stronger than me, and I'm, their, I'm on their border. Um, and I'm going to need some strong friends in the face of the Ottomans, Venice, maybe even Naples, if they get independent, are going to come for some. I don't think we're going to last ten years. I think there's going to be a lot of horrible restarting in this, but we'll do what we can. Now, I want that friendship with Bosnia, because whilst Serbia would... I could marry Serbia and go for that alliance. It's very risky, because if the Ottomans attack them, I'm going to go down burning with them too. But I suspect that Serbia would get eaten up first. I'm getting Manipur flashbacks so racist. It, it's probably going to go that way. Alright, I want the alliance with Bosnia, because it's the fastest thing that we can get. If I fire off an alliance offer, or rather a marriage offer with Serbia, i got to wait a month. So here's how I'm going to do it. I want that alliance with Bosnia. I can't have it. Now, think hard. What would you do if you needed to get either a bit of diplomatic reputation or a bit of opinion in order to get an alliance, but you can't wait more than a few days. Diprep advisor says, Marvin, good, but we don't have advisors. If you're thinking really hard, you'd say strengthen government, because that would bring up legitimacy and get you extra diplomatic reputation, but we can't do that either. Marry them as an idea, says Mort. That would be a great idea, except it would give us one month before we can send something else. So, uh, good job Dark Young's around. He knows that if you want that bit of extra relation, you've got to pen a particularly scathing letter to their rival. Bosnia has one rival, that is Ragusa. I want to be Ragusa's friend, so I hope he doesn't take this too personally, but no ma- mm, No... Also no... Ah! 
There is a problem most rife with Ragusa, and I suspect the cause are Croatian. Hmm, they've somehow interpreted this as an insult, but Bosnia saw the funny side of that. And because of that, we are just barely going to squeak by with an alliance for them. Of course, Dark Young also says, You're nay half the man your ma is. Like, we've had that line enough, although it is a great line. So, very hard mode is no joke. I'm quite certain Bosnia and Serbia could each rip me asunder. So I want one of them on my side. Don't they start with an alliance? No, who was I thinking of? Mm, I thought there were starting alliances around here. I guess I was completely wrong. But Ragusa does have that Ottoman guarantee, so it's better to be friends with them than, well, not. So with that, I'll have an alliance with Bosnia. And we get our guys back. Uh, wait, what? Hmm. Hmm, no, no, they, they didn't. Okay, that, that was interesting. That was very interesting. Hmm, well that's far from good because I've just made Ragusa hate me and Bosnia super hate me. Well that was uh, most unfortunate. Okay, then what we're going to do is marry Albania and Serbia in the hopes that either of them want to be our good friends. Hooray! Serbia, you too? Well no, Serbia is the one I got, right? Come now, Albania. Let's be good friends. Excellent. They still don't know about me, so it's quite unlikely that they're... Oh, why do you not want to... Mm, that neutrality is going to kill me one day. Well, now, this is... this is big problem. Let's also start by improving relations with the Turco man, so he doesn't see fit to come and destroy me. And... And maybe keep our army maintenance up for now, in case we get into a bit of trouble early on. So, now that we're coming towards the end of the month, nations have decided to do a re-evaluation. Most people are neutral. Uh, Serbia are also quite neutral, so I might be able to get friendship with them. Bosnia hate my guts, so that's a bit of a problem. Ragusa still don't know about me for unknown reasons. But at least I'm an intricate web weaver. I might need that spy network construction. Man, the best thing that could happen to me right now is my ruler dying and me ending up under a personal union just to keep myself a bit safer. Albania hate my guts so much. <laughs> they even broke the royal marriage they had with me. I can tell because they just took a stab hit. Well, this is quite the opposite of good for me. So, okay, now Serbia are also hating my guts. Hmm... This could be a little dangerous. Perhaps I should warm up my relations with Ragusa and try to weasel into their trade league. But because of that massive insult I sent at them, they're far less keen on such a thing. Yeah, if somebody would accept me into a trade league, well, Venice won't because they hate me because they want that core that they have on me. Who else would, uh, would help me out here? Nobody. Neutrality is hurting pretty bad. Well, this is pretty rough. Since I'm in a lot of danger, I... Ooh, I don't want to build above force limit. Well, at least we have access to advisors, including dip rep guy. Hmm. It definitely said Bosnia would accept, right? Well, I guess they thought again. So I'm surrounded by people that hate me. Two of them don't have truces on me. I'm surprised you don't actually completely hate my guts. I wonder what uh, opinion it would take for uh, Ragusa not to hate my guts so much. Well, I would send another strongly worded letter to Bosnia if I had the prestige to do so, but I don't. And I don't think any of these guys are going to help me out particularly. Not when that costs prestige. I might need a lot of prestige. Come now, Ragusa. Let me into your stupid trade league. Bosnia has warned me. Okay, I don't know what the opinion cutoff is, but it's probably a lot more than I can afford right now. Jake, it looks like Poland loves you more than Bosnia does right now. Yeah, well, 
No, Bosnia likes me quite a bit because they still saw the funny side of that letter I sent. But this looks not very good. Jake gets Cossack Estates. Yeah. We are, of course... Uh-oh. Alright, so Venice, Corfu, and Naxus are on my tail. Let's uh, staff up. Get our leader in charge. Maybe a better leader. Mm, they all suck. And... Uh, I think this is going to be a full-on Manipur. At least the Ottomans will surely like me. Well, they don't hate me, but the Ottomans want my land. Hmm, but they're not super keen on Serbia's. Interesting. Alright, well, the Venetians are already invading with pretty much twice my force. But I was born ready for them. Come on, Balsha the Fourth. Give them what's for. This is where being Serbia's subject would have been beneficial. Uh, they would protect me with their very hard mode strength. Not that I need protection. Get out of here, Venetian scum. Mm, I have a feeling that's not the end of the Venetian attacks here. On comes another. 7,000. Uh, I am also weakened, though. Check military advisors. I don't even have the dosh for that. I'm already above my force limit, so this isn't a war that I can afford for very long, and you know my stance on loans. Fortunately, every invasion they have, they get a minus four, and for some reason they're sending in no, uh, no generals, so I'm able to cleave the Venetians apart. Unfortunately, they have that big, um, uh, that whatchamacallit on me, the blockade, which is really hurting my ability to, uh, claim I'm winning on the peace table. Serbia's made a claim on Zeta. So has Bosnia. And there's Corfu and Naxus both eyeing me up. Oh, this is the opposite of good for me. Also, uh, I start with 1,000 manpower, so I can't really tap into much of it. It's already gone. And the nobility are probably unwilling to uh, help me out on that front much. I could tell them to go on a diet, but that's still not really going to help us out much. Yeah, you get minus 25% if you have all of your ports blockaded and they're all... Yeah, how to say... If 100% of your provinces are blockaded, then you eat that. I think that's how it goes. Alright, so as soon as they lift the blockade, look at me, I'm winning! You know, they haven't captured the, um, the war goal, and, yeah, they brought it back. And I've won every battle. I'm not willing to go off and fight more battles, though, but I would really like it if they got off of here. Uh-oh, they've wisened up. They're going to attack from land this time. I could also do with an ability getting some extra influence here, even though it costs money that I don't have. Oh, I think I actually reduced their influence. What a mistake to make. I don't know what they're up to, but that uh, that blockade isn't helping me much. Jake, time to invade their mainland. I don't think so. I think Zeta would go up in flames. Also, I only have 6,000 and no manpower to reinforce, so I can't even lay siege to a fort. Uh-oh, this is the worst. He goes into Ragusa. It's not even a river crossing between Ragusa and Zeta. At least lift the blockade, man. Let me claim I'm winning. Oh, uh, about winning. Bosnia decided that, that claim was no joke. But they must be scared of my mountains and incredible general. I could do with someone be somebody more special, though. Four shock is where it's at. Okay, hmm, if I wasn't at war with Venice, this would be fine, but I'm very at war with Venice, and it seems he wants Zeta. Can I give him anything other than Zeta? I could give him money and war reparations, and that's going to have to do. Alright, eat it, Venice, just get out of my freaking hair, okay? Alright, now, 
Now, now, now. Let's make ourselves full on defense. I only have five ducats, by the way. This isn't pretty. Uh, Serbia. Dang. I need, I need, um... I need, uh, what am I trying to say? Military access from pretty much anybody right now. Ragusa would give it. Ragusa, get me out of this goddamn hellhole. Okay. No, let's just get out. Okay, now, Bosnia is going into Zeta. Zeta has 73. Yes, you heard me. 73% fort defense. He, on the other hand, in his provinces... Eh, well, hills. Pa. Pa to your hills! Okay. Big risk, potentially big win. Uh, I am going to siege down Bosnia's capital. Hopefully the looting will keep me financially uh, on top of this situation. Look at that. Saving my very literal bacon. And my job here is to 100% Bosnia. God, he's not even all orthodox. Jake, didn't one of your generals have a siege pip? Yeah, my ruler has two. And we're taking brutal advantage of that right now. Uh-oh. He's fielding somebody. He'll be ready in July. May, June, July. Two months. Two months. Too risky, but I don't want to risk him coming and attacking me in that province. Just sit it out for a bit. All right, we got this. So he'll get there in June. You will convince him that that's a bad idea, and I just hope he doesn't drop off of Zeta. Keep the looting going. We need it. Good, he's staying in Zeta. I hopefully take Travunia, and then I've got to bet on the dice rolls. Uh, meanwhile though, my diplomats, I have two. I don't need two free. I want to get friendly with Ragusa again, so let's keep improving those relations. I need friends around here. Um, actually, I won't be able to join the trade league when I'm uh, all these provinces large. Eight five seven five five. Okay. Think, Jake. Use that thing on your head and think. Well, there's no point thinking until I'm. No, I need to. I need to strategize at this point. Hungary could be somebody to save me in my hour of need, and I'll have that minus twenty debuff until I border him. We can, however hedge our bets. Let's improve relations with you for now. We need not fear the Serbians because we have a truce. I fear the Albanians but they haven't made a claim. Just the Serbians and the Bosnians. Mm -hmm. Remember Jake, the Serbians can the Hungarians cannot be trusted. Yeah, I don't have the best of track records in this region, okay? I played as Serbia, I got demolished. 
I uh, played as even uh, even greater Albania. We got demolished. It took a while for that to gain any steam. We played as Albania. It wasn't a real campaign. And Naxus was hard to get off the ground. Just the Balkans and I, we got bad blood, bad history. Uh, Alright, this should be fine because I can pull you back within a day and be okay. Alright, Zeta, I know you're having fun. We all are. But for the love of God, I need you to hold. Bosnia can pay for this entire freaking war. If I just get his capital. Bad history is what the Balkans are all about. I mean, it's not untrue. You're just role-playing very well. Oh, baby, that's good stuff. I'm going to take the turn of the month looting, though. And the turn of the month increased relations here. Surrender of Maine, that's fine. Come back to me, and there we go. Whew. Pays for the war, gets me some land. Some of it is even um, good land. Good orthodox land. There's no point leaving him alive. I can't think of any good reason to leave this bugger alive, except perhaps to leave him with one province that I can force convert to, uh, to orthodox, but okay. Will they rebel? Heavens, yes, they will rebel. I just need to figure that part out. Leave him alive so you don't fight 12,000 rebels. Hmm, a cunning point. I could leave him with one province and force him into... Uh, force him to becoming orthodox, and then I can come back for that later. Plus, this one province is Ragusan claimed, so Ragusa might go to war over it. Which could be useful. Could be very useful. Oh, you're not allowed to be allied with Serbia. No way, no how. If that means Ragusa eats you up, that should be okay. Why not Catholic Bosnian subject? Your idea of subject is interesting to me. I could keep him as a vassal. That way he keeps his troops. War reps aren't much out of a out of a vassal. This is pretty good, I think. Won't they hate your guts and try to find friends? Perhaps, but they'd have to wait 15 years. Yeah, actually, getting a long truce with them is a priority here. All oh, right, can't demand that out of a subject. Anything else I can demand out of them? I don't think so. Perhaps I shouldn't leave them with eight development, but. Uh... I want to leave them with mountains so that it's harder to siege up. Alright, that's a pretty good start. That's a pretty damn good start. There we go. So we got a whole bunch of land out of that. We got ourselves some new neighbors that will hopefully be our friendly neighbors. And we didn't have to take a loan because I don't do loans. What a comeback, says Rested Pandy. I'm sure there are people who see getting declared on by somebody that is... Uh, hang on, let me think. I was 5 development, and Venice's development is... 147. You know, some people would say take that as game over, but you've got to look for any edge you have. When I saw that Bosnia had declared war on me, yeah, I thought that was pretty bad, but I knew that Zeta was mountainous and I could stack that fort defense. So I decided to give him the reach around, and it worked out pretty well. Hey, quintupling your country this soon is pretty nice. Yeah, but I'm still in as dangerous a situation as I was before. Albania could still take me. And boy, could they take me. Yeah, there's Skandiberg there. Uh, maybe the Ottomans will be impressed by my ability to fight, so I should still pursue better relations with them. I wonder if Ragusa would be up for... Uh an alliance at some point, or they just hate my guts too much. Cancel the edict? I would, but it's not been in place for very long. I've got to change that next year. It's not costing me an arm and a leg, so it might even be worth keeping there. Well, whatever the case, i got land, and I need to core that land. That's strange. He didn't convert. The province didn't convert. Oh, I think that only their, their starting capital province gets converted, not the one that they're pushed into. Hmm. Oh well, what can you do? 
from having money poor flashbacks to having Proman flashbacks. Man, Prom was good. Domineering, they're bound to change that. I'm bigger than they are. I'm as big as they are. Right, now that Serbia have no fr- What?! <laughs> Since when does Serbia get guaranteed by the Ottomans? Okay, um... Oh, jeez, and Byzantium's already being crushed by the Ottomans. This could work in my favor, however. Um, if Serbia is guaranteed by the Ottomans, that prevents me from having an Ottoman border, which would probably spell my doom, because they already want my capital. But, that would change when they take Albania. Not if, but when they take Albania. So, I think I should prep myself by having a claim on Albania. But that is also dangerous. I need a good, strong European ally. And those aren't coming easy. When Byzantium is one of your best bets. Milan, strangely enough, is, because I'm threatened by Venice. But Milan, unless they have strong allies themselves, which they kind of do... Savoy punches like crazy. Ugh, that Venetian arsenal. The province of Bosnia got converted, Jake. Really? No, no it didn't. I'm 100% sure it was already orthodox. Nothing got converted. Can I even convert this? I could, but it would cost all my money, and I couldn't. Right, well, not to worry. I'm coring all of this. Yeesh, that is, that is too high. This cost me a lot to do. And I need to consider, would I rather try to get friendly with Ottomans, or make my claim in Albania? Not Ragusa. If I fight Ragusa, that's Ottoman territory. If I fight Albania, that why are they guaranteed by Venice? Ooh, but that could be good. If the Ottomans fight them, the Ottomans fight Venice. Hmm. It's all pretty grim. I don't think I'll be able to maintain good relationship with the Ottomans. They're going to turn on me eventually. But similarly, I can't fight Albania because of Venice, Serbia because of the Ottomans, Ragusa because of the Ottomans, Bosnia is my subject, although they hate my guts. They start guaranteed by Venice, true that. But you certainly don't start guaranteed by the Otto freaks. Oh man, it's all bad news, isn't it? And Venice will most certainly help you out. Hmm. Okay, um, I will create a spy network on Bos uh, Serbia in preparation for the inevitable moment where the Ottomans drop them like an ugly potato. Oh, Ragusa just rivaled me, so that can't be good. Do you have any other rivals? Yes, as it happens. Well, you're going to drop Bosnia there, but uh, I should probably return the favor to you. I should probably say the same to Talbania. Uh, I won't rival Serbia just yet. There is a chance, however slim, that that could backfire on me. Let's ima- Ah, oh, no. Shouldn't have rivaled Ragusa, now Hungary won't like me. Hmm. Hey, Poland, I'm in trouble. Yes, I am threatened by Hungary. Could you help me on that front, please? Hungary won't ever like me because of that, but Poland could save me. And Poland said we need a Lithuanian personal union, so they went for it. Okay, thanks to that, I am drowning in Dosh. Except I'm still eating a deficit. That's just the way the world goes sometimes. Every problem Jake has had so far has come from him being mean to Ragusa. This may be true. In fact, it very is true. Ragusa cancelled military access to be expected. Uh, I can get Bosnia on my side here. It's not impossible. But I have 15 years to do so. There's no big hurry. In fact, I might be able to integrate them into my country before they even start causing any trouble. And I would like that full core on hum, please gonna suck to state this land, but I'm a beggar, so I can't be a chooser. This land super sucks. High autonomy, high rebel chance. Speaking of rebel chance, uh, I mean, I could switch to Catholic. It would make it easier to do diplomacy with the Europeans, but I am determined to stick to Orthodox during this. Orthodox is a great religion, 
It's just not always great diplomatically. Drill while you can. You need every edge you can get. Well, I'm paying for them, but there's the fact that Serbia is on my border there that tells me I'd rather be... Hmm. I'd rather be up to force... Oh, God, I've got no manpower. Let's at least puff our chest out while we can, though. And I suppose I'm going to sit around like a sitting duck. It might as well be on my uh, capital. Question, do you have any cores or culture? Oh, come on, culture, that's uh, that's a tough one. Um, I was just wondering if I could export the rebels anywhere, but I cannot. Hmm, I could actually. Depending on how big of a threat those rebels are, I could actually sell this province to Hungary. He no doubt wants it, right? Well, I'm sure he'd take it. How big a threat are those rebels? They'd break my country. Mm, Serbia's opinion could increase. They do hate my guts, however, and desire everything I have. And they are protected by that guarantee from the auto freaks. And they have that fort making life for me miserable. I find it highly likely that Serbia is going to attack me. I have nothing to fight against them with. So I don't think improving their relations with me will help out. Let's enjoy some actual uh, dip here. Um, it's really not an impossible thought selling this province to Hungary. I wonder how much he'd give me for it. What a cheapskate. He doesn't like the Croatians. Do Venice like the Croatians? They do. But they sure wouldn't pay much for it because their treasury is down the... Uh, down the pipes. Okay, well, keep that spy network going. Jake, could you make Bosnia march? Get them up to six fighty power. Uh, yes, I could and it might be very useful in the wars that I'm inevitably going to have here. But that doesn't change the fact that I don't want to. Again, something something can't be choosers. <sighs> I'm gonna have to. I really think I'm gonna have to. Oh, shoot. Guess what? Ca Wait, Ragusa did? Dang. Can't do that whilst at war. He's right on my border. Yeah, what? Oh, yeah. Hmm. Hmm. He doesn't want my land, he shouldn't be able to be called in. This might give me an opportunity to tank Ragusa. However, I don't have anywhere I can run. If he comes for me in Zeta, I am finished. Let's keep a close eye on what he does. Bosnia won't really help me because they hate my guts. I need to improve relations fast so that their liberty desire goes down and I can actually put their units to work. Alternatively, I can beat them on Dubrovnik, but they can blockade me, which is rubbish. Uh, moving there takes till 17th, moving there takes till the 10th. Hopefully they try to move in straight for Zeta. However, I'm going to need to cancel this, most likely. Ugh, I get only a partial refund on it. Okay, no, that's pretty bad. They're moving into uh, Trovinia. That's really, really bad. Hopefully we can do a bit of a switcheroo where they go for Zeta, and I go for Dubrovnik. I got maneuver four here, but I might want shock. Damn, I don't have the mill power to outtech them either, and I spent a hundred of it on my generals. <sighs> All right, no one will give me access around anywhere else. 
Does he not have a leader? He does not have a leader, but he'd be flanking me with four cavalry. No amount of leadership can undo that. Alright. What'll it be? What will it be? I'm going to move straight into Han, so he's less likely to uh, change his mind about things. Where's he going from there? Ugh, he's sieging it up. Right, I'm going to cancel his uh, recruitment there. Move into Hum, and hope that he moves into Zeta. Mm, I'll just have to get rid of you for now. Okay. Hmm. Ragus has really got some dosh on their hand. Oh man, the sad music is playing. That's never a good sign. He won't attach to me. He hates me. And damn it, I could have marched him and had him in this war if I'd just done it a couple of days earlier. Make, vo make loyal vassal beat Ragusa is somewhat plan. But plan useless, planning useful. I dare not move into Dubrovnik. He would finish up the siege and come and kill me. I need him to take this, then spend an Aeon on Zeta. But I really don't want him finishing that. Oh, well, he's already finished. It's fine. Might embolden him to move into Zeta more. Shouldn't have let him have that, but couldn't risk my own army. It's not even a 10 to 1. Dev Bosnia up. I could do that. I could certainly get them on my side like that, but I'm trying to think of the relatively long term here. Deving him up and having him attached to me, that's something I can do, just period. That said, though, oh yeah, I can't recruit in his land because of that. Nor can I recruit here because it's not my core, but we're working on that. Get that, move into Zeta, and get off of my case. Good, he's going for Zeta. Fifth. Fifth. I'll give him a couple of days to get comfy in Zeta. And I gotta pray he doesn't come to Dubrovnik. Oh, what? He decided that it would be a good idea to blow the walls down. He's not wrong. This is gonna be down to dice rolls. Thank god he doesn't have a fort in Dubrovnik. Jake, he has a three siege leader. What? They look mean, my lord. Forget defensive edict. Do I have defense man? I do. That is a tailor-made leader to screw me over. Right, I have options. I don't like any of them. Can I get some fresh options, please? Yes, I can dev Bosnia, make them loyal, have them attached to me, but that still means a very unfavorable fight against Ragusa. This place can hold for at best a hundred days. Uh, sorry, at least a hundred days. I think my best bet is to dev him, recruit a unit, fight him mano a mano. I will have four shock and mountains on my side. So I could beat him. But did I mention how much I really, really don't want to dev hum? I'd have to dev it five times, that's 250 monarch points. But it's do or die, and I'm not in the mood for dying. 
I mean, that alone is almost enough. Fifty point nine. Mm, can't think of another way to squeeze a bit more relation out of him. Could dev him again. I could also strengthen my own government, which would give me slightly more... Nah, forget it. Let's just give him a dev. Damn you, man. Damn you. 75 days to recruit somebody. That's not very nice, but I can't afford uh, mercenaries. And again, I can't really afford not having mercenaries. It's all bad. Well, actually... Actually, I can sortie for the extra thousand. Oh, yeah, I could have placated him, but that would cost prestige, which is going to be useful for the battle. Will you have to take a loan, heavens no? 75 days. I wouldn't have a chance to get you and be able to fight with you. You're going to pay for this, Ragusa. There's little reason for me to make my move on that. Instead, I should get his units to attach to me. This is all or nothing. Risk all or save none. There's still a chance that this is all for nothing. He might get nothing but um, status quos on Zeta. Er, excuse me. Where do you get off thinking that you're better than me? Because you are not. Hopefully getting this extra unit will also be enough to keep you in line. What's the point in sieging Ragusa? You never know, I might get some extremely lucky rolls and he gets some extremely unlucky rolls and it comes together like that. No river crossing penalty here. I think there is one here though. Yeah, river crossing into... No, there's not. It's just really weird the way the colors meld there. Alright, we're going to get together with my four shock general. God, what if they use him instead? Good, I get to loot the place as well. Always a bonus. I'm not even going to try for this, right? Um, the 5,000s move over here. We're all under the... Oh yeah, you can't lose your leaderships like that. Hmm. Maybe we should go this way. No, I can't risk having uh, you take over. I need that for siege. Plus, we can have the chance that he gets the disease outbreak, and that'll make him easier to kill. So you guys get together under that guy, and let's fight. And just to be absolutely sure, no river crossing here. Good, let's make it happen. Unfortunately, the troops don't arrive at the same time. Bosnia is going to take the flank instead of, well, not. Yeah, we both arrived on the 29th. Three days, three. D uh, small chance for disease. Oh, I got it. I got so pr uh, excited because I saw that number go down. Uh, eleven against eleven. Pray for Mojo. And yeah, Bosnia does arrive late. Oh well. Sortie from the siege. Add every number we can. Well, I'll let uh, I'll let Bosnia get involved first. <sighs> There we go. He's got better morale. He's got far more cavalry. 
but I've absolutely got to win this fight. Hmm. <laughs> so nervous I don't want to press on balls. <laughs> 